Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 287, find the duplicate number. First we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem we are given a nums array in a range of 1 to n, right? So here we will be having 4 unique numbers and only one number will be repeated, right? So totally in this array we will be having 1 to n plus integers. This plus 1 is because that one number will be repeated, right? So we need to find that one number which has been repeated. So for that, we should not modify this array and we need to use only constant space. So in order to solve this problem, we are going to think this problem as a linked list problem, right? So we are going to treat it as detecting a cycle in the array. Right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. So we are going to have slow and fast pointers. Right? So the slow pointer will point to the first number that is 1. Then the fast pointer will point to the first number's index. So the fast pointer will point the index of the first number. So here the first number is 1. So we are going to visit the first index. So that is 3, right? So fast will be 3. So now we are going to move the slow and fast pointers. So here we will be moving slow pointer with one step and fast pointer as two steps, right? So now we are going to move the slow and fast pointer, right? So here we need to take the first number, right? That is slow is 1 and we need to visit the index of this number. So we are going to make for slow pointer pointing to 3, right? The first index value is 3. So slow becomes 3. So now we need to move the fast pointer. So here fast pointer is pointing to 3, right? So we are going to replace this fast as 3. So now we need to visit the index 3 in the nums. So the index 3 is 2, right? We have 2 here. So we are going to replace 2 here. Now we need to visit the second index in the nums, that is 4, right? So fast pointer will point to 4 now. So we are updating fast as 4 here. So now again we need to replace slow with 3 here and we need to visit the index 3 in the nums, right? Index 3 is 2, so slow becomes 2 now. So now we need to move the fast pointer, fast is 4. So we need to replace 4 here and we need to visit the 4th index in the nums array that is 2, right? So here we are going to get 2. So now we need to visit the index 2 in the nums array. So index 2 is 4 itself. So we are at the same index, right? So we don't have to move anything here. So again we need to move the slow pointer. So slow is 2 and we need to visit the second index that is 4 right now slow and fast pointer are pointing to the same so slow becomes 4 here so now we need to try to move the fast pointer so fast is 4 and we need to visit the fourth index that is 2 right now we need to visit the second index that is 4 itself so now slow and fast pointer are pointing to same value in the same index right when this happens, we need to come out of the loop, right? So now what we are going to do here is that we are going to make slow as zero, right? We are going to make slow as zero. Now we are going to detect the entrance to the cycle, right? So now if we replace slow as zero here, we are going to point the slow to the first value that is one. Then we need to move the fast pointer, fast is 4 and we need to go to the fourth index in the nums that is 2, right? Now fast is at 2. So again we need to move the slow and fast. So slow is 1 and the first index we have 3, right? So slow becomes 3. Then we need to move fast. So fast is 2 and in the second index we have 4, right? So again we need to move the slow and fast. So slow is 3 here and we need to visit the third index. So we have 
2 here so slow becomes 2 then fast is 4 right and we need to visit the fourth index in the nums array so here we have 2 so now slow and fast pointers are equal so we need to break out of the loop and we just return the slow pointer which is 2 2 is the number which has been repeated right that's all the logic is now we will see the code before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So here we are initializing slow and fast pointers, right? So then we are going to move slow and fast pointers until slow and fast are equal, right? So then we need to point the slow pointer to the first index value, right? Then we have to find the entrance of the cycle by moving the slow and fast pointers until they are equal then finally we need to return the slow pointer right that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys